Here's a look at the new free download from Photobax. It's great for Valentine's Day, but you can use it for any time of the year. To start out here, we have our informational layer here from Photobax talking about our new love pack. So check that out at photobax.com and you can use all of our templates in the same way I'm showing you here in this video. So I'll start out by just turning off that layer by clicking the visibility icon in the layers panel. And now I'm going to use the template using our Photoshop plugin, Photobacks Control. You don't have to use Photobacks Control when using our templates, but it can certainly make things easier. And Photobacks Control is included in all of our Photobacks packages and mini packs. So let's start out here by adding a photo to this template. So I'm going to scroll down to my layers panel here and find Photo Mask. I'll click on that, and then I'll go to Photobacks Control and click on Add Photo to Template. From there, I'll open up the photo I want to use. Let's say we use this couple here and just double click and that'll add the photo right to the template. You'll see it comes in as a smart object so I can just resize this photo without any worries of losing any quality throughout the design process. Once I have it in place exactly where I want, I'll double click. I can always use my move tool to move that photo around whenever I want. Now that we have the photo in place, what's great about Photobax templates and using Photobax control is that they're so easy to customize. So I'm going to come down here in my layer stack to the preset background layer and click on that. And then I'll come up here where it says colorize with color picker in Photobax control. Click that button. And now we can choose any color in the photo to recolorize that background layer. So if I click on her shirt here, for example, that green color, you'll see that we can match the template perfectly to her shirt. You could click on any color inside of the photo to match these colors. So I'll go ahead and click on the blue color here in her shirt or that greenish blue color. And then I'll just say, okay. Next, I want to colorize or change the color of these hearts. So those are easy to do. I can come over here to the heart layers and double click and then basically either click on any color in the photo or just come over here to my color box and just change the color to something that I want say like this red here, say, okay, come down to heart number two. Let's click on the same red and then adjust it off a little bit Then say, okay to that. And then let's find heart number three down here, double click. Let's select the red color from the beginning. And then again, just reset the color off a bit and then say, okay. Now I can also change the text. Any text layers inside of Photobacks templates can be changed just like any other text layer in Photoshop. So double click that T icon and go ahead and change this. We don't even have to have a Valentine's Day message. We can just put their names if we want. You can resize your text. You can position it in different places. You can change the font, whatever you want to do. So that's how easy it is to customize the Photobacks templates to match your photos perfectly. But we can also use this template in other ways. So let's go ahead and back this up here. And let me just go ahead and use a different photo with this template. I'm going to start out by turning off the heart layers because I don't want to do a Valentine's Day project. So I'm going to come over here to the heart layers anywhere I see hearts and turn those off. You'll notice that even in the background here, if I zoom in at 100%, you can see that the background has a very nice texture to it. So even though we turned off one of those heart layers, we still have a nice background to use from Photobacks. I'm going to turn off the text layer as well. Now we can always reposition all these other layers. So let's say our photo mask layer and these two paper layers here that make up this center area, I can always move these wherever I want to center them on the screen if necessary. Now I'm going to go to our photo mask layer again and add a different photo. Click on add photo to template and let's come down here and pick out a new photo, say this one. Double click and the photo goes right into the template. Here we can resize and position this photo exactly where we want. Double click to save that transformation and we're good to go. Now this is looking pretty good, but again, I want to change some of the colors of the template to match this photo perfectly. I can do that by going down here to these paper layers and either adjusting them all together, or I'm simply going to merge these two layers together so I can change both of their colors at the same time using Photobacks control. So on the paper layer here, I'm going to click on that, hold down control or command on my keyboard and select paper layer number two. And then I'm going to press control or command E and that's going to merge those layers together. You can see I have them here. Next, I'll go to colorize with color picker. It changes to an orange color first to show me what's going to change. I'm going to click on a color in the photo on the sky here 
and you'll see that I can just match that color perfectly. I can also fine tune it in the color box if I have to. And then say OK. Let's do the same thing with the background. We'll click on that, Colorize with Color Picker. You can click on the brown color in the wood here. You can click on the sky again. And you can always fine tune it in the color box just to give it a little bit of a matching hue. I'll say OK to that. And then finally note that you don't even have to leave these little extra lines on if you don't like those. So I can come up here to our photo mask layer and let's click on this drop down menu and let's just turn off the effect of our photo mask layer, which is basically the lines. And there you go. So now we have another example of how we could use this free Photobacks template in two different ways. So the idea here is that all of our Photobacks templates will work exactly the same way. Just because we give you a template in a certain way doesn't mean you can't change it to match your photo perfectly and use it for multiple projects. So if you have any questions, let us know. Go to photobacks.com and click on Get Support. Also check out our Photobacks packages for thousands more. Photobacks templates, digital backgrounds, video tutorials, actions, overlays, textures, and more.